In this lesson, let's learn about how to solve high degree equations. We can solve the high degree equation px equals zero by factoring the left side. Let's solve x cubed minus one equals zero. If we factor the left side, we get x minus one in parentheses times x cubed plus x plus one in parentheses equals zero. Therefore, x minus one equals zero and x squared plus x plus one equals zero. In other words, x equals one, negative plus or minus square root of three times i over two. Now let's review factor theorem. Factor theorem is when the equation p of x has x minus k as a factor and is also equivalent to p of k equals zero. We can then solve the higher degree equation by factoring the left side of it. One way to factorize it is by using factor theorem. Let's solve the equation x cubed minus 4x squared plus 8 equals 0. First, let p of x be equal to x cubed minus 4x squared plus 8. If we do that, then p of 2 will end up equaling 0. From the factor theorem, we then know that x minus 2 as a factor. Therefore, p of x can be factorized as p of x equals x minus 2 in parentheses times x squared minus 2x minus 4 in parentheses. Therefore, x minus 2 equals 0 and x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals 0. In other words, x equals 2 and 1 plus or minus square root of 5. Now let's do some practice. Press the pause button and try to solve the practice problem. Once you're finished, press the resume button and mark what you got correct. Now let's check our answers. First, look at problem number one. If we factor the left side, we get x minus two in parentheses times x squared plus two x plus four in parentheses. Therefore, x minus two equals zero and x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. In other words, x equals 2 and negative 1 plus or minus square root of 3 times i. Next is number 2. First, let p of x be equal to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. If we do that, then p of 1 ends up equaling 0. Through the factor theorem, we know that p of x has x minus one as a factor. Therefore, p of x can be factorized as p of x equals x minus one in parentheses times x squared minus two x minus two in parentheses. So x minus one equals zero and x squared minus two x minus two equals zeros. In other words, x equals one and one plus or minus square root of three. That concludes this lesson.